Hello, I'm Jerry Fort, the Beer Review Guy. As promised, I have the Game of Thrones beer that I wanted to do, the Seven Kingdoms Hoppy Wheat Ale. Here it is. Fancy looking bottle. I want to keep the bottle. Here's the, the cage top right here. Has the lion. All right, this might be just a little bit longer review. It's got this little rubber um, netting that goes around the bottle. Keep that. Brought in a couple of my. Uh, couple of my favorite toys. I got my Scottish Battle Claymore sword. I got it from my brother Wayne. Of course it's a replica. But I thought it's fitting to have for the review. It's a neat it's a neat sword. I mean it's metal. It ain't a, it ain't a toy, I mean, but it isn't, you know, battle ready to to behead anybody with it. So and then I have my other one that my brother Wayne gave me. This is my uh, this is my Starfighter 2. It's a pretty one too. It's not a little knife. It's as big as a Bowie. All right. Okay, this one here from the brewery Omegang, Cooperstown, New York. Seven Kingdoms Hoppy Wheat Ale. 6.9% alcohol slash volume. Let's see. It says on here, Of Westeros, seven kingdoms. Six were conquered and one indomitable indom was brought in. Not by war, but by the sacred blood ties of marriage. This, tradition, this traditional Belgian-style wheat ale is happy happily wed to citrusy herbal American hops, yielding weedy maltiness and moderate bitterness with alluring fruit aromas and full hop flavors. Uh, let's see. Amagong ales are incom incomparable, yielding unique flavors and aromas inspired by deep insight into Belgian brewing and infu infused with with Omegong Creative Upstate New York Spirit. Each ale offers perfect balance and pure drinking pleasure. Omegong is part of the Duvel family of fine ales. Has HBO home box office symbol on there. Official HBO licensed product 2016 home box office incorporated. All rights reserved, HBO, and related trademarks are the property of Home Box Office Incorporated li License to Brewery, Omegang. All right. There's all the, there's the back side of it. I don't know if I showed you the front real good or not. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm curious about this. So... I'm going to take this cage off here. This is the first one I've ever had a cage on it and a cork that I remember. Woo! Wow! First one I've ever seen smoke come out of. I don't know if you can... 
if you can see it or not. It's not coming out anymore. Hmm. Yeah, it does have kind of a fruity aroma. And it says, I've seen somewhere or some of the um, reviews, they say to pour slowly. So, but I don't see why we want to create just a, at least a little bit of head on it. Now, well, it's creating some head on its own, so, all right. got a little under a two finger head it has a uh, there's also two other ones that I've heard of I saw one at the liquor store I was at Park Hill South here in Tulsa um, but I didn't get it these are like uh, I want to say they're like eight a little over eight dollars yeah this has an IPA look to it hazy citrusy looking orange that's my sword mm -hmm. light uh, light orange orange peel little light grapefruit citrusy aroma lightly sweetened little light bitter coming off of it carbonation I'm not really seeing it the head has got like a kind of a soft pillowy look to it small and large bubbles head is dissipating fairly quickly All right, shall we dive in? Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, okay. It's not bad. It has a... Uh, dry finish sweet up front as it's in your mouth it has kind of a, a bitter coating happening in there um, it fades away very hoppy very wheaty <coughs> excuse me very carbonated although I do not see it kind of has a, a slight sweetness up front um, yeah, the initial drink, you're getting some light to medium grapefruit and the orange. Fortunately, the grapefruit, anything of the grapefruit, it doesn't linger. Just the light bitterness. <clears throat> I think I said a subtle, a subtle bitterness. Um, very, very light carbonation burn, if any. Um, it has a, uh, a medium to heavy body. Um, kind of a citrusy mouthfeel um, the alcohol I'm not really tasting it 6.9 percent um, that's a very it's a it's a very tasty uh, beer I'm going to enjoy this. This is a one pint bottle. Wow. Alright, I've been anxious to experience this thing. 
got two other to, two other bottles to get to collect. Got a spot up in the corner. Decorate the house and Game of Thrones attire. Not attire. Motif. That'd be the word, I think. <laughs> uh, shoot. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, end this review. Enjoyed this beer. Enjoyed the rest of the day with my little family. It's my last day off. And I uh, hope, you, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Very good beer. If you see this, give it a give it a try. I like it. Okay. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.